Alright. So we have our next objective. And yeah, those choices only give you alignment points. Which, alignment points are completely pointless in this game if you... If you're only going for a specific ending, they're kind of pointless. As I was saying, unless you uh, align with multiple um, alignments in this game... Unless you align with multiple alignments in this game... Uh, made me waste all my MP. Anyways, unless you align with multiple alignments in this game, uh, it d technically does not matter what choices you make. Because it does a tally, if you did multiple alignments when you get to the alignment check at the end of the game, um, it will tally the, uh, the amount of points that you got and make a decision on which ending you get. Of course, if you only went with, if you only did the events for one specific alignment, all the other choices in the game don't actually mean anything. Anyways, we can actually jump down here. Let's do that. Yes. Gotta be like Dante. I should probably should have unsummoned my other party members thinking about it. Because that sets you, sets you and all your party members down to one HP when you do that. If I unsummoned my party members, I it would have only just been me. Eh, whatever. Okay, so now we got to go to back to Ginza. Before I do that, un uh, though, I am actually going to go by the Ankh-Mangatama. Since that's sort of kind of on the way. Okay. Okay, so let's check the cathedral and see if I can actually fuse anything worthwhile right now. I don't know if all the fusion fodder I got. Okay, I'm not going to replace him yet. I can, okay, Unicorn. Zen, what can you do for me? Sudama, Eros with Bicorn. At this point, Eros might be the best thing I can make out of him. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I can make a code. Of, uh, oh, I can make these two something useful. Anything else? Uh, Warcry and Void Nerve would be two things I would like to transfer over, if anything. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what else I can make out of this stuff before making my choices. Uh, Jack Frost can fuse with Ma Nekomata or Inu. No, I don't want to. Nekomata, I can make an angel with Taru Kacha. I can always get more Nekomata, too. Inu got me, I want to evolve. So I'm gonna stick with him. Bicorn, I guess, is just gonna sit here for a while. Alright, I've made my decisions. Okay, so I'll probably skip most of this because this could actually take a while, so. Alright, well, I guess I gotta save Fog Breath for later. Oh, but he learned it, so. Can you got me? Yeah, cool. You can have this. Sapphire, that's cool. One more level and he evolves. So I figured I might as well just take care of this right now, since I'm still here. All right, we got Gaia, which way down here, plus ten strength, plus ten vitality, weak to force, expel, and death, which is pretty bad. Resist physical, but yeah, all as much as I want death bound, I can't get that right now. As long as I'm not fighting stuff that's gonna do that shit, which nothing in here does that, so I'm pretty good. Alright, also I ended up settling. Which tends to happen. Archangel just has a couple of decent skills. Gave him Bufu life refill and of course Dark Might. And Momonofu, I could not get him War Cry because he absolutely would not learn it, so I just gave him Void Nerve and just dealt with everything else. That at least covers his uh, some of his status weakness. Anyways, moving on.
Switch out Gaia because I think stuff starts using instant death skills around this point. So Gaia is going to be a little bit too risky for me right now. All right. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, let's go back with Komodo. Damn, I really want Fog Breath, but I guess Inigami got me covered there. So, so I got 29 strength. I can start putting stats into other things. Like, probably Vitality or something. I don't need to put much into Magic, even though Magic actually affects your MP and your Magic Defense. Vitality also affects your Physical Defense, too. After, you know, levels are calculated and everything. Okay, so fastest way out of this place would be... Oh, I guess that one. And no, look, he's not gonna really comment on his room until way later in the game. Oh, there's any gummy here. Is missing. Okay. Yeah, this place has been overtaken. Oh. Oh, okay, same thing. Okay, leaving the area. Alright, now we get to go down here. We can actually enter it now. Say guys anything? The Montrex attacked the Sinley Nilo. Is this the end of Nilo? Haha, <laughs> world is still as my ass. Creation? Yeah, right. The Sinley Nilo's in shambles. We already destroyed the core. It's all over Nilo. The mantra's won. Take the elevator down. I think I need to check all the floors, maybe? Don't remember. Damn it, I haven't seen the commander or the main at all. Oh well, we got all their treasure anyway. Shinies. It's a Oh phew. Yeah, they did take all the treasure. Okay. Let me guess oh, anyway, what's up? You're the demon that won the trial, so you decided to come here, huh? Well, you're too late. We already finished the attack. Checking to see what's down here. I'm guessing it's empty. Yep, they took. They took the things. That's not cool. Okay, this 
is the core. The round thing up ahead is the core, the heart of the structure. Or at least it was, the whole thing happened pretty fast. So was the report about needing four kilos to unlock the core a hoax? Well, Nihilo pro probably got scared of the mantra and ran away. Huh? I can hear something coming from that door. Hell, we won. What's there to worry about? Yeah, there's this. Alright, moving on. Thank God it's just you. I thought I was ambushed. Don't scare me like that. Well, you look like you're alright. I'm sorry about what happened last time. Yeah, I screwed up. But it worked out for the best. I had no idea they had a base this big. If I had used that thing correctly, you would have been here all by yourself. I have some idea of what's going on. The Montreal launched their assault just at the right time. Thanks to them, my arrival went unnoticed. Hey, this might sound crazy, but did you join the mantra? Oh, so it's just a rumor. You seem so much stronger, I thought it might be true. Oh well. This entire room is a facility for collecting Magasuhi. We're at the center of that big hole you see from the outside. It was destroyed during the assault, and now it's completely shut down. But this place was filled with tons of Magasuhi from just a moment ago. Those mantra guys beat the hell out of this place. I don't blame them. Anyone would assume this is the core of the Nihilo. They just left here acting like they ruled the world. Not realizing that Hikawa fooled them. I wouldn't have known either if I didn't use the Amala network to get here. The flow of Magasuhi seems a little strange. It's cleverly designed, but this is just bait. The real core must be located somewhere else inside the base. And that's where Hikawa will be. Damn it, I better not stick around much longer. The commotion caused by the mantra has pretty much died down. It'll be even more dangerous now. I want to meet Hikawa in person, but... I'm not going to fool myself. I know I won't survive that long. On your way here, did you see a corridor that you couldn't enter? One that was spinning? I deactivated it, so you should be able to go through it now. That's about all the help I can offer. It's up to you to decide how to deal with Hikawa. You've come this far. If you turn back now, you'll regret it, right? Alright then, see ya. Right. Huh? Can't hear anything from, uh, coming from the door again. Yeah, what's the worry about? Floor stable. Now the real dungeon actually begins. After we go down this elevator. To the tenth to the basement ten. Yep, enter. Those eight mantra demons fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. They're probably getting cocky thinking they destroyed the core unit. Power schmauer, power's nothing without brains. Hmm? Who are you? Hmm? I don't know who you were with, but it looks like you have some brains. You just want to make a name for yourself by taking uh, Commander Hikawa's head, huh? Just start luck, we're getting bored of the mantra stupidity. We need to welcome our guests and show them off to the afterlife comfortably. Okay. Oh, oh, that hurt. That hurt. If I remember correctly, these guys are both weak to lightning. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Shit. No. Shit. Okay. This is bad. Tornado? I thought one of them was immune to that shit. Yeah, he's he, Okay, he's weak to it. He's immune to it. Ah! 
Oh, dick. Shit. Okay. It's one down. Okay, we got the yellow Kila. Like they mentioned a bit ago, you need four of them. There's also a save room right here. To go back in case you need to... It's a, it's a big one too, so you can just teleport back in and out of this place. I just realized I just forgot to grab the Ankh Magatama. Eh, I might as well just go get that. Might as well just go get that now. I oh, shouldn't have revived them. I could have just spent money to just get that back. Whatever. Let's grab Ankh real quick. Buy a couple of revival beads while I'm at it. Oh wait, I just walked right, went right past it. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, give me a ticket and buy some revival beads while we're at it. So I only got one left. It's best to have a couple. And we should be fine. Ticket. Cool. Okay. That'll teach me healing skills, I'm probably sure. Punk, here we go. Dia, yeah. yep. Yeah. Really basic ones, too. Might get good after a bit, but yeah. Okay, so that one's not teaching me anything right now. Oh, right, yeah, Fog Breath. That's what, that's what I wanted right now. Go through the fun part of the, the big part of the dungeon. Oh, wise guy, eh? Did you come here after he, Commander Ikawa? Commander Ikawa is on floor B15 of the core, but you need the four kilos the stakes that control the Magasuhi in the structure to get to him. You saw those four pedestals on the way here, right? Use the kilos there. Occasionally there are visitors like you, but they all disappear up ahead. They all fall prey to the traps made by the great Commander Hikawa. So I tell you all this? I figure you have the right to know before you die. This is the storehouse for Magasui. It's separated into three floors and each leads to a uh, storm where Akila is kept. You see that switch? It's set up to, so you can change the flow of Magasui. In other words, if you don't use the switches properly, you'll never make it to the storerooms. Uh, oh, protection against death. That, that, that could be helpful in a little bit. I remember one of the, one of the guys in here cast instant death skills, and it's a death element which I don't have any resistance to. I don't believe. 
So yeah, we puzzles now. Oh, Fornius, you're back. <laughs> I don't remember what those guys. It might have been wind or something. I don't remember actually. Oh, there goes Fornius again. Uh, he so Fornius is of a tyrant type, which means I can't actually get him to join me. I can't. Yeah, I can't talk to him. Oh, that's gonna suck. I'm going to level up very shortly, so let's get this ready. Because I need that fog breath. Actually, no. Wait. Yes, actually. Never mind. I forgot. I need to switch that in order to get to the next... Yeah, there's three floors of this. In each of the store rooms is a demon guarding Aquila. If someone were to make it that far, they'd be killed anyway. So that's why we don't have to panic. There's multiple doors in these places too, but you can get wrecked if you're not careful. Okay, um, yeah, that should be fine here. There's Beryl. Elagor. I'm Elagor, one of the fallen angels. I guard this Kila under the order of our commander. Now, you seem to have some brains unlike the mo those mantra fools. I like those with intelligence. To show you my respect, I'll kill you painlessly. I won't let you have the Kila. Okay. Oh yeah, here's the introduction to b -Sai. It causes enemies to get rid of one of their turns to uh, give two turns to themselves. Um, I believe, yeah, Matador, I believe, had it too, but I killed him too fast before he had a chance to do it. Okay. I don't remember Elagor's resistance is a weakness. Oh, he's weak to lightning. Okay, cool. She absorbs fire, so let's not really do that shit. Oh, that does trap for damage. Ah, damn. Oh, damn it, she got paralyzed too. Shit. This is really bad. A good strong attack will insta-kill him. Okay, yeah, he can't gather anymore. He's muted. So no more... No more lightning spells for me. Shit. This is going badly. Fuck. Shit. Fog breath. This will lower their accuracy by a shitload. Didn't think I'd have to use fog breath this early. No! No, 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 no! That's instant death. 
And those count as death skills too. Fog Breath! Which replaces Secunda. It's just straight up better. Yes, what are you giving me? I fully recovered. Intimidate! That's one Kila. Probably gonna go back upstairs and heal myself. Okay, so. Switch my Magatama back. Oh, what's this thing learning next? Um, oh, anti-ice. Anti-ice is nice. It just means your ice immunity. Takes up skill slot, though. Oh. Oh, no, that's Yifumi. Focus! Yes, I can just keep it on this. I can heal. Okay. Moving on. Need to flip this switch. Downstairs. I don't remember how I get down there. <laughs> Let's see if I can recruit this guy first. Oh no, we got me. No! Okay, I can. I can. Okay. Chakra drop, I can. Okay. Oh yeah, he intimidates him in joining. You're starting. You got balls. I'll give you that. All right, we got copper. Okay. Could have gone better. Nice stone. Especially for eating gummy. Okay, so what does copper do? He has Tarakaja as well. Oh, he gets. Oh, he's one of the ones that gets watchful. That's cool. That's nice. That's always, that's always a good skill. Okay. Mm. I think my current party's fine for the moment. I'll switch him out with. Okay, you 
basically I just have to go the long way up here. I was hoping I didn't have to do that. 